We glorify the name of Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are working in us to do your good will, your good pleasure in our lives. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for opening doors that no man can shut. If you said it, Lord, that settles it. And our confession lines up with what you said. Oh, glory to God. He is faithful to perform. God is faithful to keep his word. He is faithful till the end. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. We proclaim that you are the King of kings. Thank you for souls. Hallelujah. Thank you for souls, Lord Jesus. Times of refreshing and the word that is spoken, Father, it will draw all men unto you, Jesus. Yes. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. When your word is lifted up, Lord, when you are lifted up, you draw all men unto you. Thank you, Lord. We pray that this word and these songs are, Lord, ministering to the brokenhearted, Lord, to the, to the ones who are weary, to the ones who are dry. And, Lord, you will quench their thirst, Father, as you said. That he who is hungry, let him come to me and he will be filled. He who is thirsty will never thirst again when he drinks of the rivers of living water. We come to you, Lord Jesus, expecting and believing the good things that you have spoken to us. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's worship the Lord this morning. It's another exciting day to come into the house of the Lord and magnify and lift up the name that is above every name in the book of psalms the lord says that he has shown us the path of life in his presence there is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore you know the presence of the lord it's so refreshing when the anointing moves we know that the burdens are destroyed yokes they have to fall off at the name of Jesus when we lift up his name. That's what we have come to do, to lift up the name of Jesus. So let's praise and worship him this morning. Hallelujah. And every one of you joining us online, you can sing along as we lift up the name that is above every name. Jesus said, when I am lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. So we know that as we are lifting up these praises to the Lord, that he is being glorified and when he is glorified that he begins to work his goodwill and his good pleasure so we pray that you'll be blessed and encouraged and strengthened as we lift up the name of jesus glory to god sing along and we believe you'll be encouraged let's praise him we lift your name on high this is a song of joy that talks about every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that jesus is lord Let's believe that today, that there's no other name that is greater than his name. Amen. Your name. 
Thank you, Lord. We speak your word over this island. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that eyes will be opened to know the hope of their calling, to know that you are the only Lord and Savior. And we believe, Father, that souls are being saved, the unreached are being reached because of the name of Jesus that is the only way that can save. And Father, we lifted up this song of praise to you as declaring over this nation that salvation has come even to the uttermost parts of this island we pray it Lord and we speak it over the nations that you are lifted up in this land all over this land your glory shall be revealed hallelujah let's sing this song as a declaration over this island all over this land the word is being preached souls are being saved and let's declare that revival has begun. When revival begins in the heart of people, then they will start moving with that fire and start walking in the, in the calling that God has for them. So we're going to sing this and say, yes, Lord, revival has begun in this land. Amen. Let's sing it all over this land. Your glory is revealed.
Return to their first love. Be revived again in their hearts so that they can fulfill the calling that you have for them. Lord, you have a calling for each one of us and you are reviving us, Lord, consistently. You're stirring us up on the inside to fulfill the plan and purpose that you have for us. Thank you for reviving our hearts, Lord. Thank you for refreshing us, Father. Times of refreshing in your presence, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Just return to your first love. Maybe you're watching online. Maybe you've drifted away from the Lord. The Lord is reminding you right now to come back to Him because you cannot do anything in this life without Him. John 15, Jesus said, Abide in me and I in you. 
and let my words abide in you so that you can bring forth much fruit. And in the last part of that verse, he says, without me, you can do nothing. So we need to come to that place where we realize anything that we do in this life, it's only because of the strength that he gives us. So the Lord is calling you back. Maybe you're watching. Maybe you'll be watching later. Come back to the Lord and say, Father, I'm coming back to you. I'm going to come back to my first love. Maybe you're striving and trying and struggling to do things. Without him, you cannot do anything. So come back and say, Father, I'm going to start all over again. And this time, I'm going to put you first in my life. You seek first the kingdom and all these things. Maybe you're running after things. But the Lord says in Matthew 6.33, Seek after him and all these things shall be added into you. God never takes away from you. He multiplies. He's Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. There is nothing that is too hard for him. When Abraham went up to the mountain and offered up Isaac, when he was about to lay his hands on Isaac, the Lord said, don't, Abraham. I have seen your faithfulness. And right there when Abraham turned on the mountain, God provided a ram for him. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. The Lord our provider. You know, sometimes you might think, how in that moment is it going to happen? But you've got to realize when you are obedient to the Lord that he will multiply he will prosper you he will open doors that no man can open only doors that he can open for you he is Jehovah Jireh when you read in scriptures you see many times when even Simon when he let down his net at the word of the Lord there was the provision that followed so when you're obedient to his voice the provision it will surely follow we serve a God who is Jehovah Jireh. Let's say that I serve a God, serve a God. who is Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh. The, Lord the Lord my provider. There is no lack in his kingdom. There is, no lack in his there is only provision. There is only provision. Thank, you Thank you for being my provider, Lord. You are my Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. Let's sing about it. God is our provider, Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Made me to prosper, help me go forward to live in abundance all of my Forward to live in abundance all of my days. 
That encourage you, Jehovah Jireh, He multiplies. He said, When you give unto the Lord, it shall be given good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give into your bosom. That's the God that we serve, a God of abundance, the God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills, the God who multiplied five loaves and two fish, and He brought a harvest. 
He's the God that we serve. Aren't you glad we serve Jehovah Jireh? He's our provider. More than you can ask, think. That's the God that we serve. Let's continue to praise Him and worship Him. His praise fills the temple. Times of refreshing in His presence. Let's lift our hands to Him and begin to praise Him. Father, we thank You. Thank You for times of refreshing. Your praise fills the temple. His praise fills the temple, His peace fills my heart, His joy and His glory, He did wondrously impart, the blessed name of Jesus. Spirit 
There's no greater blessing than being with you. Oh, Lord, my soul is restored. My mind is renewed. There's no As David said in Psalm 23, you are the Lord who restores our soul. Thank you for restoring us. Thank you for refreshing us, Lord. Thank you for reviving our hearts, Lord, to fulfill the calling that you have for us so that we can stand before you, Lord, and hear your words. Well done, good and faithful servant. That's all we live for, Lord, is to fulfill the plan you have for us. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Don't stray away from your calling. Don't faint. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up in life. You're not called to give up in life. It's too early for you to give up. God has a future. He has an expected end for you. The world will say this has got to have times and seasons that this has got to happen, this has got to happen. But you say, Lord, you make it beautiful in your time. In his timing, he makes all things beautiful. There is no struggle and striving when you start to fulfill it the way he tells you to do things. We worship you. We glorify you. Thank you, Lord. Just think about that. When Simon, when he obeyed the voice of the Lord, he had tried all night to catch fish. But the day when Jesus gave him the word and said, 
let down your nets. He got a whole draught of fish, more than he could have expected. When you do it God's way, you will see how the results will follow. It will be beautiful. You won't be struggling. It will be the way he told you to do it and it will fulfill your heart's desire. Don't ever think that the Lord, he takes away desires or he's a God that makes you feel bored. No, he, in his presence there is fullness of joy and he will give you the desires of your heart. He said when you delight in him and his words, when you, when you delight in his words, he gives you those desires. Lord, I pray for those who are here and those who are watching. We bind those spirits of discouragement, of faint-heartedness, of sadness and sorrow. We bind it in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray right now for refreshing and revival in their hearts. Lord, to fulfill your plan and your purpose. Satan, you are a liar. You have no authority over us. We're not going to give up. We're not going to quit. God said that as we walk with him, walking this walk of faith, he said that when we faint not, we will reap in due season. So Lord, we know we choose to follow your plan and reap those harvests that you have for us. We worship you and thank you for refreshing us. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's say together, Father, I thank you for restoring me. You said you restore my soul. Thank you for times of refreshing in your presence. Thank you, Lord, that as I delight in you, you have given me already the desires of my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.